Hello, welcome to Bi Excellence Tutorial. So, with me, I have a question from Vectors here. Of course, it's a little bit advanced, Vectors. Yeah, but if you are majored in physics, you must be familiar with, with this. Okay. So, if R, which is a vector position R, is a product vector of a point, show that del dot R vector R equal to three. Okay. So the first thing that we have to do is to, to write mathematically the definition of del or NABRA operator. So NABRA operator is given as partial differentiation with respect to X partial differentiation with respect to y, partial differentiation with respect to z, okay? So that's the del operator or number operator. Now, we have also to write the position, the vector position R of a point in three dimensions. So position R in three dimension is given as that. Okay. Okay. And then now we need to dot these two. So once we dot, right, we have x i. This is a number. So this is a bit different from the previous video that we solved uh, a question in the previous video. It was not dotting, that was not the dot product. So we are dotting R, which is this. Okay. So you know from dot product rules, once we dot I dot I, we get one. When we dot i dot j, we get zero, which is the same as i dot k, which is the same as j dot k, okay? So once we dot those, we get zero. And this is the same as j dot j, we get one, k dot k, we get one as well. So once we, we dot here, we are going to have X like that, okay? So we dot this first part with that. I dot I is going to be one. So we are going to have small change, partial small change X with respect to small change in X. So once we dot that with that, we get zero because I dot J is going to be zero. So we just go on to the second and then we get that and third, we get that. Okay, so So we have that, and that is this is actually one, this is actually one, this is actually one. So one plus one plus one, what we get is three. So that is equal to three. So we've shown here that once we we dot the del or number of operator and the vector position in three dimension, what we get is a scalar, which is three. Thank you so much. So if you have found this video to be helpful, kindly subscribe to the YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you get notified each time I upload a new video. And uh, you can as well like the video, you can share the video, so that you can help someone out there who is having difficulties with vectors. 
Thank you so much for watching.